Hey everyone, this is Manly Bass Hero, and welcome back to the Doll Shop. Previously, we fixed some dolls, and nothing creepy happened whatsoever. For a day. I'm still a little curious about those posters. Like, what is that for? Is anyone home? Uh, oh, 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 hey, I uh, was just talking about dolls. Uh, uh, oh, hello. A am I too early? Uh, sorry. It's okay. I've been having trouble sleeping lately. Oh, me too. I've been having strange dreams. Nightmares. Not really. I've been dreaming of a dark room with red walls. Uh-oh. The back room. And that's it. I just stand there in the dark until I wake up. You're the doll. I'm not sure how to interpret it. Sometimes dreams act as warning messages. You should pay attention to them. I suppose we all have a dark side. Hmm. I hope mine's not too dark. I think I've been here before. When your father was running it. It's been a long time then. Look. I began by gluing the face back together. Fortunately, none of the shards were lost. Now I have to erase the cracks. I need to carefully sand the glue, then I'll paint the face until there are no longer any marks. It's a delicate job. But don't worry, she'll be back. On her feet in no time. You speak about dolls that they were alive. They're alive in a way. I guess it's normal to see things that way for a job, but... I'm starting to wonder if you're a doll, and we're just- this is our perspective being biased. Dolls cannot replace human beings. Oh, we'll see about that. They know how to listen. They don't judge. People are often cruel. I understand. It's been difficult in town as well. My colleagues, my boss. Sometimes I just can't take it anymore. I want to lock myself in my room and never leave. Let's see. There must be some possible to make up for it. Go for that. A unique atmosphere. Everything moves so fast like a river carrying you along with the current. It's frightening and at the same time exciting. But I must be bothering you with my stories. I'll leave you to your work. I'll see you out. To be honest, I, I'm not sure if I'll see the doll when it's finished. I may leave tomorrow. So soon, I hope you stay longer. So you see my dolls. I haven't decided yet. I'll have to think about it. You should take a walk to the shrine. It's quiet there. I go there sometimes when I need to focus. That's a good idea. I can't stand staying inside anymore. I'll be leaving. Goodbye. Maybe. Maybe we can meet somewhere tonight. I couldn't bring myself to ask. You should have, as opportunities will only fill you with regret. Our choices are what shape our lives, wouldn't you say? Oh yes, I quite know that. Because we're in a video game. You're right. I'm sorry. Is ramen okay? They serve a good one near the station. Seems like it'd be the only place that serves anything. That should be perfect. How about 6pm? I'll be there. Work hard. And don't bring your dolls. This is between you and me, okay? Uh, I'll try. Of course, see you tonight. I'll be able to remove the excess dry glue by setting it down carefully. If I work fast and hard, I can bring her the finished doll tonight.
Very meticulous game. <laughs> Still gotta figure out what those other pieces are for we kept finding. It went well. I just have to find a final layer of white and... Oh, I'm sure of white. I knew I was forgetting something. I'll have to check if they have some white in stock at the grocery store. Go into the grocery store to get some white. Not sure if we're crazy. What can I do for you? I have a problem. I need white to finish my work. It's urgent. Powder pigment as usual. Yes, please. Let me check. You're lucky, it's the last one. Thanks. It's been here for a while. I hope it didn't get wet. It looks perfect. I have something else for you. Is it another doll piece? What do you mean? You've been bugging me for weeks and now you've forgotten? Your parcel arrived this morning. Huh. Oh, I totally slipped my mind. I'm anxious to open it up. Are you curious to see what it is? No. Not particularly. Do it at home. It's time I close. Really? So early? It's late. But isn't it morning? I feel like I just woke up. Your work must mean to be that urgent if you spend the day sleeping. It's 2,000 yen. Here, sorry. What? It really is evening. But I could have sworn. Oh no, my date. Have we lost concept of time or are things weird here? I'm leaning towards things being weird. Oh no, she's not here. Who? The young girl? She waited a while before leaving. She was furious. Ah, it's all my fault. Why do I have to fail at everything? What's my problem? Calm down, I'm only joking. You're my first customer, as always. Huh? Don't stir at me like that. It was a joke, I'm sorry. I'll wait for my friend. Screaming internally, maybe externally later. Sorry for the delay. I was out walking and lost track of time. Oh, no problem. Are you okay? You seem upset. It's nothing. So what do we celebrate tonight? doll being almost ready? I don't know, tell me. How about our reunion after all these years? Good idea. What do you have? Hmm, you can choose. You're the regular here after all. Excuse me, two sp chef specials, please. Can I show you something? What is it? Man, you really want to show people that butterfly. I received it today. Go on, open it. Oh, a butterfly. Is it dead? No, it's sleeping. I collect butterflies, you see. You have an aviary? No, I pin them into frames, so their beauty never fades. Uh-oh. The dolls, see? I was talking about that earlier. Then what's the point of ordering them alive? I don't kill them straight away. I put them in a small cage where they can flutter around. 
That way I can get to know them, and later we can recall the moments we spent together. This one will be my most beautiful. Whenever I look at it, it'll remind me of you. Uh... Okay. Looks like she has the same thought. That's... Uh... Nice. Do you find it strange? Yeah, it's a bit unusual. Don't be offended, but... Between this and the dolls... You're almost like a character out of a horror film. Oh, if only you knew. Oh, I'm not too fond of those movies. They can spice things up from time to time, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'll get it. I'll put it away. Here you are, your noodles, lovebirds. It looks delicious, thanks. Grandma told me about this summer. You mean the little girl disappeared? I'm trying to understand. I thought that type of thing only happened in a town. I thought we'd be safe here. But if you're in town around country, people are the same. You have to be careful. It doesn't seem to affect you. I hope it's not for some bad reason. I didn't know the victim. That's no excuse. Sorry to be in pain, but it seems like no one wants to speak about it. Try to understand. The entire village is suffering. You know, we had a similar case in town. A schoolgirl was held prisoner and killed by her classmates. Uh-oh. The investigation revealed all the neighbors knew about it. But nobody tried to help her. That's horrible. But here, how could she disappear in such a small village? Oh no. What if the body's in the doll or something weird? Like how he preserves the butterflies. So we must know what happened, don't you think? What should I do? If I tell her, if I explain everything, maybe she'll understand. Yeah, she's not like the others. Oh no, it really is psycho. Are you okay? Uh, I have to tell you something. No, don't say anything. Let yourself go. Have you heard the news? One week she's been missing, she was even ten. If you ask me, the one who did it is a monster. You see, it's not that complicated. Come with me. The girl baths are empty. I hope they find him and make him pay for what he has done. Please help me. Ah, I can't take it anymore. Shut up! all. They will never understand, will they? But her, don't you think there's a chance? What's that noise? Can't they leave me alone? I'm feeling a little weirded out now. Where's that noise coming from? Butterfly? A butterfly. In the middle of winter. Uh oh. A bunch of them. There's another one. It's gonna lead us to that one opening we went to, maybe? Cause straight down is just a dead end. Yeah, I was right.
Clearing my head at the smelling Jizo statue helps me calm down. I close my eyes for a moment. When I open them, I spot something lying between his feet. And a piece. It's really weirding me out. It's a porcelain shard, a mouth. I hold to my ear. It whispers, don't be afraid, trust me. For a minute I feel less lonely. I regain a sense of hope. Last day. Uh, I wake up with a terrible headache. The events of yesterday are blurry. I can hardly make out dream from reality. I hope I didn't do anything, anything irreversible. What? The door is open. Did I forget to close it? Or did someone enter? Nothing unusual. I probably just forgot to lock it. I really need to be more careful. Butterfly. Hello there. I see you've settled in. You're going to like your new home. You know, pit up on the wall. Time to go back to work. I have everything I need to finish the doll now. Are you ready for makeup? Let's hide these ugly cracks. The right color. Oh yeah. So take some time. Back and forth. I do like kind of like the attention to detail, though. Kind of sets a pace. Like he's just kind of sitting here meticulously painting away on his dolls. Do you think it'll be some motivation later if we discover a big twist? Almost done. And now the final touch. Switch the color. Because he always puts a little bit of rosiness. Oh, you're perfect. It's time to return you to your owner. What's that? Hey, this wasn't here before. Post 5 out of 5. What is this doing here? Someone entered when I was out. They have no right to do that. Always sneaking, talking behind my back. Well, they'd never leave me in peace. If it's a joke, it's a bad one. I better throw it away. Never peace. There's something behind it. I never heard of these doll shards. And I. It makes me uncomfortable. It sees right through me. It knows. No. Everything's fine. It's just a joke. A bad joke.
you know, we go north. Take the doll back. If we're getting a little closer to what the big reveal is. I'm curious like how the endings differ, or if they even end at the same place of the game or what. Excuse me. Oh, how are you? Oh, look who I brought back. Let me look at her. It's incredible. She looks brand new. I can't spot any imperfections. You've surpassed yourself once again. Is your granddaughter home? What granddaughter? I want to show her the doll. Okay, thank God. I was waiting for that one. So, no. No, no! What granddaughter? Oh, she must be around somewhere. I believe her job isn't going too well. I offer that she stay here, but you know how she is. As stubborn as a mule. You seem disappointed. No, it's okay. Goodbye. I'll tell her you came. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to pay him. Man, I keep going around not getting paid. Bah, you'll be back. Once outside, I find myself in the mood for a walk. Maybe I'll cross paths with her if I head to the shrine. So we got a little bit of a walk. We head to the shrine before, once again. Uh, but there was no story event, at least anything major anyway, up there before. Walking through the snow. Get that sea of white effect going on again. Huh, she's not here. Where is she? There's nobody here. As I expected. Before leaving, I noticed an object half buried in the snow. Uh, what's that doing here? Once again, I feel watched. I turn around. I'm alone. I better go home. Now we gotta walk all the way back. Reflect on our possible sins. <laughs> for for a brief second there, it was just it's just the snow coming really close to the camera, but I thought a ghost flew by and like, whoa. See like right there, that's what I meant. Dang ghost bunnies. So just head home. Maybe we get a better ending. She's at the shrine. They run track to the world. No, 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 she's here. I'm sorry about yesterday. I shouldn't have insisted. Please don't kill her. Yes, Baba? No, it's nothing. Have. Have you made your decision? It's not that easy. I was happy to see you again. Without you, I'd probably already be back in town. But I don't think I'm going to stay. I tried, at least. It's not your fault. We had a good time together. It's just that I have this feeling I left something unfinished in town. I understand. It's okay. You're so withdrawn. 
I'm also maybe a killer and obsessed with dolls. Among other things. You need to learn to say what's in your mind. Forget it. I'm leaving. Wait. Please don't just show her the weird, creepy stuff. Oh no. Before you leave, I... I'd like to show you something. This sounds creepier. I'm introduced to my favorite doll. You really don't understand anything. It's not surprising you live alone in this old house. It will only take a moment. Excuse me, I bear a girl. You two are always running away. You can't even imagine what I've had to endure lately. Okay, but quickly. And then I have to go. Oh man, the music's reaching intensity. Follow me. Oh no. No, it's just stopped, see? I have a feeling I've been here before. I've been so eager to introduce her to you. I, I don't like this place. You should listen to the dream. You'll see how beautiful she is. You're going to like her. I'm sure. Look who's here. Say hello to my friend. Uh. Oh no, it's the missing girl. Don't be afraid. It's not what you think. Don't come closer. Oh wait, listen to me. Why are you running away? There's nobody waiting for you outside. Aren't you tired of being alone all the time? Imagine. Together. We could be a family. I, I won't tell anyone. Please, just let me leave. I got it. Switch off the light. <laughs> what? Forgive me. I didn't intend to hurt you. But don't worry. I'm going to fix it. That emptiness. I cannot leave it alone. I must heal you. Come here. Put the butterfly in? <laughs> Isn't it better this way? I know you love this butterfly. I don't think she did. Now it's time to close it. I was wondering if this was her face. I think this is how he sees it, per se. So to us, right now, it looks like a smashed open doll. But to him... Well, to him it looks like a smashed open doll, and by proxy, since we're playing him, that's what we see. But in actuality, it's, you know, a girl with a smashed in face, per se. Now he's fixing her. You're perfect. I'm so happy. You're here. I'm sorry I had to take such drastic steps, but what else could I do? You understand, don't you? Now the three of us are a family. You know what? I think we're going to be very happy together. So you see, it was that symbolism, the butterfly. I left the room and closed the door behind me. People are going to be suspicious now. They will ask questions. I'll help as much as possible. We'll organize a search party in the forest. 
and I'll hang a poster in my shop. But they won't ever find you. You've locked ending C. You won your friend's confidence, yes. Your secret is known by you alone, yes. You saved your childhood friend, no. You complete your butterfly collection, no. Bonus, you found all posters, yes. Complete ending C, yes. Validate these four options to unlock additional content. So two more endings. Let's see. I'm assuming one is if we let her go. I'm not sure what the butterfly collection one is about. Games graphics for hand painting. I'm assuming that was the worst ending, by the way. Just because it's ending C. Thank you for playing the doll shop. You can now choose a starting day when launching a new game. What you say to your childhood friend will influence the trust she has in you. Will she leave the village as soon as possible? Or will she stay a little bit more at her own risk? Starting at day three is enough to influence her decision. Starting on the final day will return you to the final choice. You can also quit the game leader for another day. The load menu will now print the start screen. Let's see, ending B or C, last choice. I knew it. It's not your fault, we had a good time together. It's just that I have this feeling I left something unfinished in town. That was your... And now that I'm thinking about it, that was her desire to like... Not desire, but rather... She had that dream. So that's probably her... Uh... Instincts. That's the word I'm looking for. Saying, hey, don't look in that back room. Foresight. Skip through this, and we'll just choose some of the other options as we're going. So maybe we have to push her away purposely to get the one ending? The butterfly woke up, do you want to see it? You really don't understand anything. Same thing. You don't have to be hurtful. Excuse me, I better go. Don't you want to discover my secret? Secrets are for kids. Don't you want to grow up? Okay, but quickly. Then I have to go. Follow me. Whoops. Like some doors are meant to be shut. Get through. Okay, let her leave. I wish she had stayed. No, it's not your fault. It's her. She wasn't ready. He says this as he talks to a corpse. I wonder if she's going to warn everyone. Maybe it's better this way in the end. Butterflies. This is a strange world we live in, don't you think? So beautiful and yet so frightening at the same time. How did I end up this way? I sit at my desk and contemplate the butterflies fluttering in the silence. For now, everything is calm. Soon I'll hear noises outside. Shadows will gather at the window. Someone will open the door. And it will be the end. That was ending B.
Of course, she has work. Why? We didn't last together last night. I wasn't at my best. I was hoping to apologize. We well, should hurry. She's probably waiting for a train at the station. Okay, so it's a new ending. Oh, thank you. I'll go there now. Wait. How much do I owe you for the doll? Uh, I don't know. We'll work it out later. Quick, the station. Let's hope I arrive on time. Get it? Because it's a station. I probably shouldn't be making puns of a story in this context. It's not time for puns. It is time for the train, though. So you're leaving after all. You scared me. I'm sorry. It's nothing. I've been thinking about it a lot, you know. But this place isn't for me. You really think it'll be better in town? I don't know. We'll see. No, oh, the scary music is playing. Think of your grandmother. I think my decision. Please respect it. Don't push her on the tracks. You should take more time to think about. You know, the more you insist, the more it opens my eyes. There's something weird about this place. It seems so nice in my childhood. I've been holding on to those memories to help cope with my work. I was thinking it could always come back if things got too bad in town. Now I don't know anymore. I think I'll be better off in town after all. Hmm? I have to go. I'm sorry, I have nothing against you, but... It's not a good idea to stay here. You should leave as well. This is my home. I know. She became like the other NPCs. Farewell. Something's going on. So don't you just walk up here on your own? Did she leave? Oh, I chills on my back. She would have had it end up running away anyway. I know. Don't be sad. You have me, and I will never leave your side. Fish off the last butterfly, huh? The moment I pin the blue butterfly, I feel like I've stabbed myself in the heart. I think of the train running to the city. I think of the snow that slowly but surely covers everything. I become submerged in silence. Hunched over in the shop's darkness, I can only wait. One day, maybe, she'll come back. I'm like ending A. We validated those over four options, we'll unlock additional content, Let's see what that is. Epilogue? Later. Oh, she came back. Oh no. Grandma, are you home? Sweetheart, is that you? Oh no, I have a bad feeling. Why are you in the dark? Yes, Grandma, it's me. Oh, I was so worried. You disappeared so suddenly without leaving a trace. We assumed the worst. 
I'm sorry. I should have let you know. To be honest, she missed you dearly. But I can understand that. She's very fond of you. You? What are you doing here? I came to make an offer. Oh, it's a doll. Why don't you come live with us? No. So did she eventually come back? Or was that an epilogue for the one ending? Either way, eventually he's gonna get the whole town. <laughs> anyway, that's it for the doll shop. So, a bit of a slow burn story. But I did like it because it had that kind of... Not quite Edgar Allan Poe, but that, you know what I mean, that vibe where it's a, a short form horror story. It did remind me of Psycho, I did mention that one. There, There is a little bit of Psycho in there, but it's got Japanese flair. It's got the dolls and everything. There's no crazy mother, it's more of his obsession with preserving beauty. And kind of the gracefulness of something, like the butterfly. So not necessarily just physical beauty, but he mentioned like he liked to keep the butterfly in the cage till it kind of died, so you can have like a memory of it. So he, he did have a very kind of twisted personality. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure. Did she come back in the end and then he finally did kill her? Or maybe that ending is not canon? A little confusing right there. But the main thing is, is that eventually this whole town's going to be dolls. And <laughs> it kind of fits with the whole aesthetic of the, the snow and everything. It's an overall kind of unsettling story. It's got this comfiness, it's got this niceness because of the art and the music. But then there's that little bit of undercurrent. So, overall, I like this quite a bit. It, like I said, it's it's simple, but it didn't need to be complicated. It it was literally just a uh, a short story told in a kind of um, colorful way, and did a good job. But yeah. Anyway, so thank you all for watching Play the Doll Shop. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.